guess what, Basin Orleans? Who's here? Who's in town right now? Well, uh, guy, it's got to be the Dallas Mavericks, as a matter of fact. Um, that, to me, I'm all jacked up. They play the Mavericks tonight, and that, to me, has got me fired up because we all know the Mavericks right now, other than the Lakers, probably the biggest rival in the league. I, I, I think so, right? I mean, we were sort of talking about this before the show. If you're a Suns fan... Is there a team that you like seeing the Suns beat more than Dallas? Now, they've they've played the one meeting at the Footprint Center of the season they already lost, and now they've got two in Dallas, and that's it. So, so far they haven't beaten Dallas this year. But, yeah, I guess it's probably still the Lakers. But I got to think, because it's Luka, assuming Luka plays, doesn't Dallas have to be right there, like 1B? No doubt about it, man. It's just going to be great. Hopefully, Luka Doncic is going to play tonight. I want him to play. It's kind of like a, a situation where, you know, as a former player, I can tell you, Basin Onions, I always wanted to play against the best, the best of the best, the best of the best of the best. That's why getting into the National Football League was so much fun to play because you were going to play against the best, and you got to test yourself against the best. I know there are fans out there that would not like to see Luka Doncic play tonight, and I understand. I understand the reasoning behind it. I do. But at some point in time, you're going to have to beat Luka Doncic, right? At some point in time, if you want to win the whole thing, you're going to have to beat teams at their best. And I think, once again, it's... It's all about the competition, and because of that, I'm focused on that. I want to see Kyrie Irving, and I want to see Luka Doncic. Well, Luka's questionable with low back tightness, and Kyrie's questionable with a right thumb sprain. That's where we are right now. And look, um, I'll, I'll just be honest. I like the fact that we're reading a different team's injury report as opposed to the Suns' injury report. At yeah, this exactly. Not like this. I mean, the Suns have... Ball balls out, and Eric Gordon's questionable uh, with right, right wrist soreness uh, for for Eric Gordon. But yeah, I'm I'm, I'm with you, especially Luca. Like I don't know, it, Kyrie. It still hasn't registered to me that he's on Dallas and he's been there for a while. But I feel yeah. like every time the Suns play them, he's not playing anyway. But if you tell me they beat the Mavericks tonight and Luca's not playing, I'll take it. It's seven in a row, but it, it's not going to feel the same. It's it, you got to beat Luka. It just would, yeah, it would not feel the same at all. If Luka Doncic plays, I'm with you on that one right there, Luke. But also, this is it, right? This is kicking off the two-week trip right now. Yep. This is it. <laughs> They're on the road. They're kicking off the two-week trip against the Dallas Mavericks. Wouldn't this be a great way to start this two-week road trip? They play exactly every other day from now until February 4th on the road. They go Dallas, then Indiana, then Orlando, then Miami, then Brooklyn, then Atlanta, then Washington, and those are obviously all on, on the you know East Coast or Midwest. So they're not, it's not like one of those trips where it's like, yeah, we're only gone for three of those games, though, and then we come back and we have a three-day break at home before we head to L.A. No, no. <laughs> this is a this is a long road trip, and they're going to be on the road the whole time. We talked to Bloomer yesterday. He's like, I don't even know what to pack. <laughs> because it's so many different environments in the middle of winter. Incredible, I know, how difficult that must be right there. And he, you don't want to pack. I, that's one of the things. When, when you go on a, a trip or something with a team, I do it with the Cardinals all the time. Many times it's, well, you know what? It's going to be there two nights because of the Friday thing with the Eastern. Anytime we're playing in the Eastern time zone, we're going to go Friday and Saturday, right? We're yeah. not going to leave on Saturday. It's a Friday thing. And all of a sudden... My suitcase is an issue because I don't like to pack a big suitcase. I do not like to do that. I, I am a simple man, Basinonians, and that means I've got this one little, I want to say it's 18 inches by about 14 inches. That's what it is. And I love carrying it. It's so easy. Boom! Throw it in the rack above. There's That's never it. a problem with it, right? We all have our little routine, don't we? And every time we have to go with that extra night, now all of a sudden you got to pack another pair of jeans. You got a problem, right? <laughs> it does everything. Is off. it really going to fit? I can only imagine a two week deal. And it's, you know, Bloomer, too. I would imagine he's got to take some nice clothes. I would think so. I mean, seven <laughs> games. You own some nice clothes, right, Bloomer? Is that what you're saying? I mean, Bloomer, you're not walking around with a trash bag, right? <laughs> I mean, you're. Just you got to dress nice. Just a tracksuit everywhere he goes, different exactly. color for no, whatever I city. I don't think so. I don't think they do that. <laughs>
So yeah, that's what's that's what's ahead of the Suns right now. And yeah, I mean, okay, you're playing Dallas, you know, like next uh, next Monday you're in Miami. Next Wednesday you're in Brooklyn. Kind of a different environment. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Miami and Brooklyn. A little, little, little bit of an extreme version I there. I mean, honestly, just the temperature thing alone. Yeah. All right? And then the gray skies, too. That's the whole thing. When you go back east, especially to the northeast, get ready for that. Clouds without definition that just come hovering over the city. You're going from South Beach to, like, coffee shops with hipsters and beards. Yeah, That's basically yeah. the range there yeah, in the span of 24 hours. Of all. This is Kevin Durant what talking. <laughs> Is that like I've been waiting for the longest time to say that, <laughs> by the way. Is that Monopoly the sequel? What Duopoly. Is that, is so that a real cool. thing? No, but yeah, of course. Duopoly. Oh. Does it it's, it's two powerful uh entities that dominate a paradigm. What if there's three? Is it that, isn't. Uh, no, you no, can't. It stops be. it too. A duopoly is a duopoly. Yeah, but is there like a, is there <laughs> I understand, okay, but is yeah, there like well, a triopoly no, or is that Yeah, of course. Oh really? Yeah. No, no doubt about it, okay. man. All right. It's yeah. kind of like a monopoly. All right. But Monopoly. times three. Pass go three times. Collect $600. Uh, this is Kevin Durant after their uh, win against Chicago and what it means heading out on the road. Yeah, that's important for us to finish this off before we go on this long road trip. This is an important trip for us where we get to bond more as a team, but also showcase on, on the road in the tough environments what we made of. And uh, our last couple of road games, we played New Orleans and I forget who we played before that. Portland, you know, we, we played two solid games on the road, so we try to build off of that and keep that momentum. And I uh, love we are. I mean, 25 and 18, man, it was just a week or so ago. We, we were, it felt like we were one game, two games over 500. So, you know, we're trending in the right direction. He forgot the Portland game, too. And you know why that is, Wolf? I have yeah. a theory. Because they play Portland every eight days. <laughs> so every time there's a game, they're like, what, what was that game? It was probably Portland. Yeah. I do the same thing. Every time I'm looking at the schedule, it's like, oh, yeah, they played Portland in there. You know what I love about that right there, too? He's asking, who, who do we play? You know, I, can you imagine? Um, <laughs> when you start looking big picture, what I take away from that again, KD is he's been around for a long time, as and he's been around for a long time, one of the best of the best, and yet all he cares about is the next game. It is the next game. I think that is totally legit. Who am I dropping forty on next? That's basically how he sees it, right? Who's who's getting forty points from Kevin Durant yeah, tonight? No, oh, now honestly, it's Dallas. I honestly don't think he thinks he's dropping forty no. on somebody I, next, I, I, right? Yeah, that's I think what you're in, thinking. In retrospect, it's but like, I don't think he is, man. He is seriously. The more and more I've recanted on KD long ago, he's like your ultimate rec- player, really. Oh my goodness, this guy is what a teammate he truly. Now, once again, I don't know exactly what his personality might be like inside that locker room. I don't know. Different strokes for different folks. Well, but if you had fully gotten a hold of his phone when you tried to take it, you'd have a lot more insight into that. <laughs> but it's just he, he noticed it, and oh, there you go. We are pleased to be joined right now by Kevin Durant. So KD is uh, is here, and KD, I know you've you've been to some media. Oh my goodness! All right, so uh, embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.